going on everyone? This is 007JK back with another episode of Minecraft for you guys. Now, unlike most Minecraft videos that I do, where I just hop into a game and just get absolutely wrecked by everything and everyone else, th this episode is going to be a little bit different. Today I'm going to be showing you some different tutorials on how to build some overpowered stuff that will break Minecraft. So the first thing that I have to show you guys is right here. This is what's known as an iron farm. So this is essentially, what it does is it spawns iron golems, sends them down into lava, and kills them, and then you can get all the iron you, uh, you can ever want, or ever need. So, the way this works is you have three villagers right here in each one. Each one has to have a workstation, so I gave them all compost composters. It can be any workstation. And then you have to have three beds. They have to sleep in their beds, set their beds, and get a profession. And then over here, you have you build a duplicate over here. The same thing, three villagers, three beds, three professions. And then right here, I've put glass right around each bed so that each villager can't be pushed out of the bed. So then, you also put this block right up here so the villagers can't jump out, jump around, fall off, and fall into the, the trap, essentially. So that's how you keep the villagers contained, and that registers as a village. Now this zombie right here, whose name is Steve, this zombie right here, you need to put a normal block above his head, otherwise he will burn in the sunlight. That way you can be generating it day and night. And what he does is he upsets the villagers, if he's close enough to them, and the villagers will call in an iron golem to defend them. He might actually be too high, so I might have to put him down a little bit, Sure, it goes properly. But then the iron golems will spawn all around this area. They will aggro on the zombie and start walking towards the zombie. They'll get into the water. They'll be pushed down into the lava and then burn. And now to show you guys how this lava pit works, I've built a simple scenario over here. So what it does is right here are the fences, sorry, the signs just like right over there, and the lava. So what happens is... Uh, iron golems are three blocks high. They're not two blocks high like most mobs, like you or zombies or skeletons. So what they do, so when they stand right here, normally zombies or skeletons won't burn, but iron golems will. Their head will be stuck in the lava and they'll burn, burn to death. And then their items will drop into these hoppers, and then will drop into these chests. And to show you this, I've made myself a little bit of a demonstration. So hold up, iron golem. You need to be right over here. There you go. Now come this way. Oh, he's just walking around it. All right. I'm gonna set you down right there. We're gonna just uh, push you in, if I can. Eh. If I can control. Eh. Go. Go in the lava. Go in the lava. Go. Go in the lava. There we go. So as you can see from over here, it'll sink to the bottom but his head's still stuck in the lava. And we'll just wait for him to die. The arms of the angel fly away. So then down here you can see we've collected iron ingots over here, and over here we have some poppy. Now that's just how the items have fallen, it's not or, uh, organized at all, but there you go, Now you so now you have a basic iron golem uh, so not a basic, a overpowered iron golem farm. Now, I'm going to try and lower this to try and show you guys just how power overpowered this can be. One eternity later. Right there. Bye, Steve! Alright, so we need to give ourselves, so we need to get ourselves another zombie, because ours, uh, fell. So there's our zombie. And if you want a zombie to stay here and not despawn, you need to give it a name tag. So what we're going to do is we're going to, when spawning in this second zombie, we're going to give him a name tag. We're going to name him Steve V2. There we go, because he's Steve version 2. So there you go, his name is Steve V2. So now if we build our little funneling system right over to there and break it, hopefully he will get aggroed, so let's see, can we lead him? No, we can't lead him. Oh, he wants these villagers over here. Okay. 
Okay, let's build two over. There we go. So now he'll upset these villagers, and for some reason they've lost their profession. I'm not sure why. But, yeah, let me try and fix this really quick. Okay, so the villagers, some of them are absolutely refusing to sleep. And something I did forget to mention is you have to trade with the villagers in order to get them to uh, stay with their profession. So we're going to get some potatoes. We're going to get uh, just a bunch of potatoes. And we're going to trade with this one farmer to solidify his trade. And we're going to try and trade with uh, one of these guys. So there, now we have couple of farmers, which I don't know why, I can't, okay. So we're going to do time set day, okay, let's go get some wheat, why can I not find, there is some wheat, okay. So now we're going to trade with the villager over here, solidify his trade, because these villagers kept, uh, their trades kept uh, not working. So I'm sorry villagers, but uh, you must perish. Okay, so eventually iron golems will start to spawn, but you have to solidify their trade, you have to give them a workstation everything like that. And this has been very difficult to get it to work. Once it starts working, you'll start generating a ton of iron. And it actually becomes pretty overpowered. Twelve seconds later. Well, there you go. Uh, one, an iron golem has spawned. I didn't expect it to work, because this villager is still running around, and we only have two of them with the solidified trades. I think you have to have a lot of them like that. Well, if you see, this iron golem gets aggroed on the zombies, and he just falls down and then just dies. And then, like over here, his stuff will go down into these chests. So that's how you build your own iron farm in vanilla Minecraft. It is kind of difficult to get the villagers to uh, set correctly and everything like that, and getting the zombies up here as well. But that's about uh, it. You might have to extend this out so it'll actually aggro the villagers. But, anyways, thank you guys so much for staying with me and watching me uh, ch tell you guys something overpowered in Minecraft. There are some other really overpowered machines in Minecraft. So let me know in the comments down below how, if you guys want me to build, show you guys how to build some of those more overpowered machines, zero tick farms, stuff like that. But anyways, thank you guys so much, and as always, take care, everyone. Have an awesome day.